And now, this is the last episode for season 8. Yes, only two episodes for the season. That's funny, right? And I'm going to be paying close attention towards not a sin, not a sickness. And it really gets me aggravated when someone says that it's a sin to love whoever you want to love. Like, for instance, if a guy wants to be in love with some other guy, and someone says that's a sin to do so, I don't like that. That that makes me sick. Because, honestly, why would it be a sin to love someone? And it's not a sickness to be gay, or a sickness to be bi, or a sickness to be... To feel like you are the opposite sex, therefore you are a transgender. Seriously. For many centuries, the Christian church's attitudes toward human sexuality was very negative. Sex was for procreation, not for pleasure. Women and slaves were considered property to be owned by males and many expressions of heterosexuality. Like homosexuality were considered sinful, such traditions often continues to influence churches today. Many churches teach that women should be subordinate for, to men, continue to permit form, forms of discrimination against peoples of color, and condemn homosexuals. They say that all homosexual acts are sinful, often referring to their interpretation of scripture. Misinterpretation, like I said. Other churches today are influenced by a century of psychoanalytic thought promoted through a powerful minority in the field of medicine. They see homosexuality as some kind of sickness, although this view has now been soundly discredited by the medical profession of some churches and clergy continue to be influenced by the idea. They say that homosexuals are imperfect imperfect and in need of hearing. The good news is that since 1968 when Me Metropolitan Community Church was founded the emergence of a strong lesbian gay community and the conclusions of new scientific studies on homosexuality have forced the Christian Church to re-examine these issues a growing number of biblical and theological scholars now recognize that scripture does not condemn love and responsible homosexual relationships. Therefore, gay men and lesbians should be accepted just as they are in Christian churches, and homosexual relationships should be celebrated and reformed. So there. Hmm. Nothing wrong with being straight or gay or lesbian or bi or trans. You can just be whoever you are. Just find the correct church that would accept you for who you are. Do not be in the church that would be like, I condemn you. Because no, we do not want that. Those churches, they messed up. I think people who would condemn someone who, who is gay is sick in the head themselves. Because no one has the right to condemn anyone because of who they are. Just saying. I hope you enjoyed that video. Bye now.